take notice that you tried to slip away without paying your check. Wait a minute. Judging by the wide-eyed and clueless look on your face, I'm guessing you're the new deputy. My problem is that I don't want to be saddled with a rookie deputy. That is who you are, right? The marshal's report didn't mention you had hearing problems. Are you, or are you not, the new deputy? We'll find out, won't we? Well, your timing couldn't be worse. I've spent weeks trying to crack this smuggling ring, and I'm about to take a very important meeting. I hope so. I don't have... I'm about to meet with a contact who might be able to give me vital information about the smuggling ring. If you play your cards right, if you're ready, my contact is here and waiting. Follow me. May fortune smile on you today. Every day you meet someone... Donovan Reese. He ran the Red Mile nearly 30 times. Most folks never survived once. Man would have been a hell of an explorer. Yeah. Well, things changed. Who are you? Oh, if it's none of my business who you are, then you have no business being at a meeting I arranged. The deputy here is interested in meeting Marco to talk about that mercenary company he's been funding. Since part of that money is coming from his smuggling operation, we're working together. So you're investigating the first? Why? Guess they're just handing out badges to anyone these days. I guess an introduction is in order. Like Marco, Jade here is the head of a small smuggling cartel. Difference is her crew stays out of Freestar Collective space, while Marco's group operates exclusively within it. Except now he's looking to expand his operation, and he started moving in on my territory. That's exactly what this meeting is about. Look, the bad news is, Marco's incredibly paranoid. He never stays in one place for long. The good news is, I know how to find him. But you're not gonna tell us yet, because you want something. I want the same thing you do. I want Marco out of the picture. But like I said, getting a meeting with him can be damn near impossible. One of the few people who can arrange such a meeting is right here at Red Mile. May Divine. We've suspected for some time that Red Mile was a meeting place for smugglers. If she's in business with Marco, she won't give him up easily. Yeah, well, so can she. I can tell you right now what she's gonna want, because it's the same thing she always wants. She wants runners. It's how she makes most of her money. Of course, people that hard-blooded aren't easy to find. Yeah, well, I'm not going out on the mile. That's a death sentence. There has to be another way. You've been a ranger long enough that too many people know your face and your name. Runners attract a lot of attention. If someone recognizes you and tips off May, this whole thing is shot. You, on the other hand, are just a deputy. It's pretty unlikely that a lot of people know you. You don't have to do this. We'll find another way to get to Marco. I hope that's not false bravado, deputy, because this is life and death we're talking about. If it's really as simple as asking May Divine for a meeting with Marco, then I guess that's all you need to do. We'll wait here for you. Try not to die, will you? You're really going to take on the mile, huh? Yes. I keep taking the next one. A new face. I wonder, is this the face of a brave runner here to challenge the Red Mile? Or simply one seeking a respite from the burdens of life? My name is May, and I'm the proprietor of this establishment, home of the famous Red Mile. I assume you're familiar. Well, of course you are. How could you miss hearing about the Settled System's most exciting sporting event? 
why even people from the most backwoods systems like Seoul have heard of the Red Mile. <clears throat> I'm happy to answer any other questions you might have. In the meantime, please enjoy our world's famous hospitality. That is true. But Mr. Graziani values his privacy. What is your business with him, exactly? It's quite a leap of faith that you're asking me to take. I have no particular love for Marco, but he is a business associate. So I must protect my reputation. Fortunately for you, I'm in a generous mood. It's been too long since we've had proper entertainment. If you're willing to provide I'll give you Marco. Are you prepared to run the Red Mile? Good. Once you've begun, I'll collect bets from my patrons who will place wagers on your survival. I'm afraid not. But I'm sure your confidence will inspire our patrons to place substantial wagers on your survival. That's what every runner says. Who knows? Maybe the mile's not as bad as everyone said. Now that we're clear on what's expected of you, are you ready to begin? Good. Come with me and I'll introduce you. If you're looking to register, you'll need to speak to Ms. Devine. Uh, I don't have the stomach to bet if somebody survives the red line, personally. Each their own. That's the red mile over there. I bet we can adrenaline from here. Well, they don't need it now.
My favorite part.
They're gone. Just gone. yours.
Congratulations, runner. You have succeeded where most have failed. In fact, you seem none the worse for wear. I'm not easily impressed. But you've managed to surprise me. As promised, I'll set up your meeting with Marco. I'll dispatch a courier to let him know you're coming. Please take a moment to relax and enjoy our hospitality. I'll return shortly. You made it. You must be tougher than you look. What's this I hear about you giving one? You're back. Are you okay? Since you quit running, I and here I was feeling like a nervous wreck the whole time. <laughs> Guess I had nothing to worry about. Anyway, I'm relieved you made it through okay. Why? Afraid you'd lose all that work you put into your smuggling investigation? I wouldn't expect you to understand. All you see in people is what you can get from them. I'm glad, because that was an incredibly brave thing you did. And we need rangers with that kind of courage. Also, I... I owe you an apology. I was pretty awful to you at first. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, well... You better stop messing with my unit, or there are gonna be consequences. Yeah, sorry about that. Just got me at a bad time. Now let's move on. Once you're on your way, I'll return to the rock and let the marshal know what's going on. Come home safe, deputy. That's an order. You always were the soft one, little sister. Oh, go to hell. Or at least make yourself useful and get us some drinks. The pirates would leave and the guests would return. What up to me? I'd fire the lot of you right now. Take my chances with the papers. Time for me to keep my promise, runner? You can find Marco on Kodos aboard his ship. I'd advise you not to keep him waiting. He is not exactly patient. Then it's in all our interests that you make haste. Travel safely, runner. Should you ever crave the challenge of the mile again, it will be here, waiting. Don't see a lot of people survive. I'm in charge of security. Look at this place. 